I'm gonna show you how to make this little penguin. Hey guys, this is Veronica from BehindTheCake.com and in today's video, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how to make this little penguin. We're gonna start with some pink fondant and we're gonna make a teardrop shape or a little cone just for the body and then a ball that we're gonna use as a head. To give some strength to the figurine, use a toothpick in the middle of the body and the head and this will hold the figurine pretty good. Make the feet using two little balls and you're gonna press one of the ends and then we're gonna place them under the figurine. Don't forget to use some gum glue so you can stick them. And we're gonna use some white fondant kind of like an oval and we're gonna place it on the center of the body cut the excess and glue it to the body I was using some piping gel but also you can use some uh, gum glue cut a white fondant circle and we're gonna place it on the face also using the piping gel Cut some white fondant strips or it can be whatever color you want to use for the ear warmers and also for the scarf. You can see one of my little helpers in the back, he was trying to climb the table. Continue using one of the strips just to measure how long you want the scarf to be and then you're gonna make some cuts just to make the end of the scarf uh, really fluffy. Use two little fondant balls just to place them on the ear warmers. Make the beak using some orange fondant, just a triangle and make a cut in the middle. Using some more pink fondant, I'm gonna create the flippers. Just shape them and we're gonna glue them again with some piping gel. Since this is a very happy penguin, I uh, just put the flippers kind of like up, kind of like trying to fly and to hold the shape I'm gonna use some paper towels and these are your friend if you wanna be modeling some characters or figurines. Using some gel coloring. I'm gonna draw the little eyes. I'm using a color shaper. This is a very tiny one and I'm gonna put the description on the description box below. Try to make both eyes the same size so you don't want them to look kind of like weird. I like the ear warmers on purple but I think adding a little bit of the gold gives them more light and more festive feel. So now it's a very chic penguin. And here is the final result, isn't he cute? So what do you think about this little figurine? I just love it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and subscribe if you haven't done it. So check out the information in the description box below. There's more tutorials and more videos and recipes on my blog. Thank you and I uh, will see you next time. You take care. Bye-bye.